Welcome to Amatech Online. In this program, we will take a quick look at the theory of refrigeration and the operation of a vapor cycle air conditioning system as found on many aircraft. For a more comprehensive study of these units, the components making up the system, and some basic service instructions, you can go to the full program at evatech-online. Welcome to the Avatech instructional video series. This program covers the Vapor Cycle Air Conditioning System. The Vapor Cycle Air Conditioning System is a common system found in many small and medium sized general aviation aircraft. In today's modern aircraft, passenger comfort is a very important issue. With air conditioned homes, offices, and cars, People want and expect similar comfort when they fly. Vapor cycle air conditioning is a closed system in which a refrigerant is circulated to remove heat from the aircraft cabin. While circulating, the refrigerant changes state. By manipulating the latent heat in the refrigerant, hot air is replaced by cool air in the aircraft cabin. In this video, we cover the theory of refrigeration, the vapor cycle system, refrigerants, system and components, servicing equipment, and servicing the system. The basic law of thermodynamics states that heat flows from a point of higher temperature to a point of lower temperature. If heat is to flow in the opposite direction, some energy must be supplied. To accomplish this in an air conditioner, this principle is applied. When a gas is compressed, its temperature is raised, and similarly, when a compressed gas is allowed to expand, its temperature is lowered. To achieve the required reverse flow of heat, a gas is compressed to a pressure high enough so that its temperature is raised above that of the outside air. Heat will now flow from the higher temperature gas to the surrounding air, lowering the heat content of the gas. If this gas is allowed to expand, it drops in temperature. That makes it cooler than the air in the space to be cooled. Heat will now flow from the heat source to the gas, which is compressed again, beginning a new cycle. The mechanical energy required to cause this apparent reverse flow of heat is supplied by a compressor. Let's take a look at a typical vapor cycle air conditioning system. The refrigerant flows from the receiver dryer through tubing to an expansion valve. Inside the valve, a small orifice restriction blocks most of the refrigerant. Since it is under pressure, some refrigerant is forced through the orifice. It emerges as a spray of tiny droplets in the tubing downstream of the valve. The tubing is coiled into a radiator-type assembly known as the evaporator. A fan is positioned to blow cabin air over the surface of the evaporator. As it does, the heat of the cabin air is absorbed by the refrigerant. As this heat is absorbed, the temperature of the air blown across the evaporator drops significantly. This cool air is returned to the cabin, reducing the temperature there. The gaseous refrigerant exiting the evaporator is drawn into a compressor where its pressure and temperature are increased. This high pressure, high temperature gaseous refrigerant flows through tubing to a condenser. The condenser, which looks like a radiator, is made of tubing with fins attached to promote heat transfer. Outside air is directed over the condenser. The temperature of the refrigerant is higher than the ambient air temperature, so heat is transferred from the refrigerant to the outside air. The amount of heat given off is enough to cool the refrigerant and condense it back into a high pressure liquid that flows through the tubing back to the receiver dryer, completing the vapor cycle. Thanks for watching the introduction to vapor cycle air conditioning video clip. You can find the complete online air conditioning course along with many other educational programs on the web at www avatech-online.com. You can also see our complete line of textbooks, reference materials, and training equipment especially designed to support AMT schools at www
Avotech.com.